Oh, hey there! Welcome to this video. My name is Nate and I want to show you a little dial trick I came up with. So here's the project I was working on. The client wanted a pie chart that's, uh, you know, interactively displayed and displays whatever percentages have to be displayed. And I achieved this using dials, you know, uh, just using a dial and uh, slices of pies and things like that. More details about this in another video. Then the request was so for the user to click on part of the pie and to show some information. Now the problem is, this is a dial and dial dials, I guess. So they can click, yes, but the problem is they can also, you know, move it and nudge it around, which is not great. So how can we log this, but they're, they're still able to click on it. Now, I don't want to create a hotspot or some invisible object to, around here because this might be a different size. So how can I adjust for all of those options like this? We create a new layer, we're gonna call it click one, and we're gonna create an invisible object. And it's a full circle, not just part of the pie. It's 700 by 700, that's the full pie. So much pie talk. And here we're gonna go to fill and transparency goes to 100%. So they don't see it and they can click it. There's this thing floating around, like you have to use 99% and 100, 100 doesn't work every time. From my experience, which is like almost 10 years, 100% works every time. So don't use 99, 100 works. Send me a file if it doesn't work, I wanna see that. Okay, we close this one and we're gonna then, when user clicks this, we're gonna show whatever. And this is gonna be so pi one and we're just gonna show some text. This is it. So dramatic. Okay, this is it. Click, and then we're gonna show layer pi one when user clicks our oval one. Now, how do we show this oval? It's not on click, because uh, we have to go one step back. So we're gonna show our layer click one when Mouse hovers over affordability, which is this orange one. This is the small one. And here's the option we need. We need to hide the layer when your user hovers out. This is the, the main thing here. So let's preview. So what is great, if they click on this one, nothing happens because all we have is the orange hover. And if I click on the orange one, we get this is it. The fantastic thing here is, even though the circle is circular, it's the big object here, it, the, the layer hides once you go away from it. Even though you're basically hovering over the whole thing, but it only counts the hover of this part of the pie. So once you go out, you can set another trigger for another layer and you have different clicks. So in this way, you can adjust for the whole pie. It doesn't matter which, where this part is, you know. User cannot drag it around. <laughs> I guess they can, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, funny part of the video. Okay, so in this case, uh, you know, this layer was shown, so the, our click one disappeared. So here, you would just say, uh, don't hide other slide layers. Uh, no, this should work. So click, and now I cannot drag it around because that circle is still there. Okay, so that was a nice trick and also a nice solution to a small bug we just had. This is it for this video. Have a great day.